world bosses in Genshin Impact are scattered throughout the many nations of Tivat, all of which can be found harboring in different elemental forms. But there has always been one boss in particular that has always caught my attention, and that was the Hydro boss found all the way up in Liwa. This is Rodea of Luck a powerful oceanid that harnesses the ability of calling down fierce rainstorms, as well as summoning creatures that are formed out of water, ideally dubbed as mimics. Not to mention that she has this unique ability of blowing bubbles at you. ANGRILY. Hello everyone, I am Sakai Samurai, your guide in the vast world of Tivat, and today we are diving into the strange but fascinating world of Rodea of Locke. As well as looking at her motives and just what she is doing here in Liwa in the first place. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take the time to first focus on just what Rodea even is in the first place. Like I mentioned earlier, Rodea is known as something called a Luck Folk. Or Luck Folk, hopefully I'm getting it right. A mysterious elemental species primarily consisting out of pure raw hydro energy, a genetic makeup that can also be found in other elemental beings, such as slimes. Watch folk are more casually known as oceanids, and is an entirely all-female race, all hailing directly from the land of Fontaine. Oceanids are also sworn devotees of the Lord of Amria who is a character so far we don't really know very much about, other than she was actually the previous Hydro Archon, as well as she presumably perished sometime during the Cataclysm roughly 500 years ago. After this, the Archon was replaced by someone known as the God of Justice, who took on the role of leading Fontaine and its people after her death. However, not everyone was happy about their new leader. In fact, the Oceanids were absolutely downright furious about their new Archon, eventually leading to the species to form a mass exodus from the region as a whole, fleeing to other lands and ditching Fontaine, refusing to stand with the new ethics and ideas that their new Archon had set in place, with many of them still swearing their allegiance to their now deceased god. This all brings us back full circle to Rodea of Luck. Rodea is a self-proclaimed spy. In fact, she is known as the greatest informant out of all the other Lodge folk, and is greatly revered for her past work. As back before the Cataclypse had occurred, the previous Hydra Archon would hire the Oceanid people as scouts and to do reconnaissance work to help usher in people under the Archon's name and to also help attempt to unite their people under her rule. During this time, Rodea had sworn allegiance to the Lord of Amria, and had resided in the vast bodies of water that are found in Fontaine. There, she found herself working as the Archon's best scout, providing a strong connection for her people and their ruler. But all of that ended when their god perished. And like mentioned earlier, the Oceanids have fled the land of Fontaine shortly afterwards, with Rodea joining in to the mass exodus as well fleeing in fear of her life and, and in the hopes of finding calmer water somewhere else, hopefully to dodge the fierce political climate, and if she's lucky, avoid the wrath of their now infuriated Archon, inevitably finding herself living in her new home, the Lake of Bashui. However, it didn't take long for Radia's fears to return to her, quickly finding herself living in a state of constant paranoia believing that at any time because of her extensive background and her treason to the new Hydra Archon that she was being hunted down by assassins, living on edge that at any moment that a rogue from Fontaine could appear and attempt to kill her. This is actually the reasoning for her interesting voice line found in the game when the boss fight begins, claiming that the Traveler is an assassin from her homeland. An assassin from our homeland? Or a fool? who trespasses upon the waters of Chainsa. In fact, Rodea's sheer anger and paranoia is so immensely strong that it has actually created an adverse effect on the local wildlife. With her emotions leaving the rivers and lakes around the border of Liwa and Mondstadt to become disgustingly bitter, all the way to the point that it has killed off many of the fish living in the rivers and streams, and leaving local establishments such as the Dawn Winery struggling, as the winery has to rely on the surrounding rivers to help supply their brewery chain. 
Even after the Traveler defeats Rodea, her anger and distrust will still linger on. And while sunshine and cool waters may return to normal again, it will only be a matter of time before this enraged ocean head returns to the water and leaves it in its murky appearance once again. And that was the story of Rudia, a world boss that honestly has left me confused for quite a while, especially surrounding her dialogue and distrust. She's truly a fascinating world boss and is a character that I hope will get even more lore when Fontaine eventually arrives in Genshin Impact. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I do all sorts of Genshin Impact related content over on my channel, with most of my videos centering around lore content as well as guides and the occasional parody video. And also, if you would like to see even more of me, subscribe today! Either way everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next video. Incoming! As long as rain falls, and rivers fall, water will exist forever.